Welcome everybody to tonight's live stream. Welcome to our next EMS Live. Hope everyone is doing well. If you don't know me and maybe you're watching on the replay, maybe you're new to the channel, my name is Evan. I'm a paramedic. I'm a paramedic instructor here online. I go by the paramedic coach. You can see my lighting there. <laughs> you got me there. All good. Everyone, as you're tuning in, give me a hashtag live or a hashtag replay as you're coming in. If you're live right now, give me a hashtag live in the comments down below. If you're on the replay, give me a hashtag replay. We got Shelby. We got Morgan live. First on Facebook, looks like Shelby Wilk. And first on YouTube is Morgan C, followed by Lone Survivor Dana and Andrea as well. What is going on, everybody? We are live tonight. Let's go. Give me a hashtag. Let's go. It's so good to be live again. I love doing these lives with you tonight. And uh, I'll be honest here. Start it off. Um, these last few weeks, I've really, really, really put in a lot of work for you guys here. Everybody here. Um, my desk is right here, right in front of the studio here. My desk is right there. And I've put in a massive amount of work over the last few weeks. If you remember the last live we did was our big giveaway live. I said, hey, I'm going to have a major announcement for you. And this is it right here. So here it is. I'm going to get right into it. Okay. Now, before I get into it, you see a little preview already, but I'm going to tell you everything and break it all down for you. If you have a classmate, if you have a friend who's in EMT school, advanced EMT school, or paramedic school right now, tell them, share this live, tell them to join this live right now. They're not going to want to miss this. We got about 47 people on the live right now between Facebook and YouTube. Awesome. We're about two minutes in. I see a lot of hashtag let's goes. Everybody, thanks for the kind words. Now, here we go. I've been wanting to do this literally since probably summertime. But I knew it, I had to do this right. I didn't want to rush this. I had to make sure this was the best possible work because I know the stakes are so high. Okay. So this has been in my brain to do literally since the summer. And it's finally here. Now, as a lot of you know, that are in my video study course, that helps you with Preparing for school, on the job tips, um, the National Registry Cognitive, the written exam, right? Helps you out past school, all the medications, a lot of that. That's a lot of, for lack of a better word, practical tips, like meaning like on the job tips, and then also, you know, exam tips to help you in school. But I've never released anything about the National Registry practicals. Well, tonight, my friends, I am releasing a 50, you heard it right, a 50 plus page study guide on every single national registry practical that you could face from EMT all the way to paramedic. And what's in between there? Advanced EMT as well. So every single practical. This is your instant notes. This is your study guide. This is your coach to help you. Everything I know about the National Registry Practicals is inside this study guide. It is over 50 pages in length, and it has an outstanding system that I want to touch on and talk about tonight. It's very important. Now, I want to tell you first why I'm doing this and, and why I come about this, okay? So here's the real lay of the land right now, okay? One of the biggest parts that we know of going through school, and remember, this covers every level, EMT, advanced EMT, and paramedics. So point blank right now, if you are somebody who is studying for national registry practicals or you're in school right now or getting ready for school, Grab the study guide right now. The link I'm going to put in the comments, but it's also um, above as well. Okay, I'm going to th I'll throw it in here uh, later on in the live, but it should be above in the description. You will see it. 
okay? The study guide, I'm gonna go over some more details on it first. It's very important, okay? I designed it a certain way that you've probably never seen before. I'm gonna explain, okay? Now, here's the first thing. We all know that one of the biggest things in school is passing your national registry practicals and your written. If you don't pass the practicals and the written, all your hard work is for none. You can't actually get certified, right? Right. So this is a very important guide. We know that from the start. Now, when you study for national registry practicals now, you have the classroom, you have your instructor, that's all good stuff, right? You have the sheet, the national registry sheet that can guide you to what you need to do. Great sheet, of course. It's literally from national registry. I'm with you on that. But what don't you have? What you don't have is what I call my arrow system, my mnemonic system, the guy to get you through the sheet. I'll give you a perfect example here. Have you ever been going through the medical assessment sheets, the patient assessment, or the trauma sheets, and maybe you're going through it and you get lost on what to do next? There's a reason why. There's actually two reasons why. Number one, this is a great example. It's a very long sheet. Number one, the sheet is extremely long. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to memorize the sheet. But you don't actually understand the sheet. I'll say it again. The reason why people struggle with the practicals. Oh, and guys, let me get that flat here. Sorry about that. There we go. So the reason why people struggle with the national registry practicals, again, is they're trying to memorize the sheet. That's not correct. You want to understand the why behind the sheet. Doesn't this sound familiar? It does. It's exactly what I talk about with the national registry written. It's not about practice questions. It's about understanding content at a deep level. The same goes to the practicals. Now, here's what you need to do. When you have a long sheet, like the medical assessment, like the trauma assessment, for example, okay, first thing you need to do is you need to break it up. You need to break it up into different parts. That makes it easier. We got that. But the second thing is National Registry does this for a reason. Again, everybody, they are not trying to trick you. I know there's memes on it. I know that there's... Um, you know, all these different um, sayings about uh, national emergency. Oh, they're trying to trip you up. They're really not. And, and maybe a shock to you because maybe someone's told you that, but that's the wrong mindset. I don't want you to have that mindset. That's a negative mindset. What I want you to have is the mindset that there's a reason why national registry has me going through his medical assessment. You know what it is in the trauma assessment? You know what it is? It's the exact way that we do a patient encounter. And they're trying to see if you're competent in doing that. If you can't get through the patient encounter, then how are you gonna be competent? How are you gonna pass your practicals? You get what I'm saying? So the reason why it is challenging to you is you're trying to do the same thing that people mess up on with the written. Is mem it's, not, it's not about memorization, it's about understanding. So if you understand, okay, I understand the patient you know, uh, pathway. I understand that you know, I'm not gonna walk up to a patient who has an a, a, a ABC life threat and start doing a history on them, <laughs> right? The sheet takes you through that, exactly. Okay, now here's what you'll see. If you click the link, I show you the table of contents, which is pretty self-explanatory, but I want you to see it. It's every single, every single station, even the random stations as well. There's a random station in the advanced EMT level. It's in there as well. And I have more for the paramedics I want to talk about. Very, very important. This is all feedback I've gotten from my thousands of students that are inside my video study course. You know, everyone, I get... Every single day, I get DMs, private messages, emails from students, feedback from my own members, people that aren't my members, random people online commenting on my videos. I try to respond back to everybody, 
But when I respond back to everybody, I see everything. And when I see everything, that's how I create what I do. That's how I make these uh, products best for you, okay? Now, I want to touch on the paramedic level real quick. Now, this study guide gives you EMT, advanced EMT, and paramedic, okay? You can print it out. Uh, you can download on your phone. You can do whatever you want. It's a 50-plus page guide. It's yours. Obviously, you have, it's yours to keep once you pay for it, of course, okay? Now, I want to talk about the paramedic level. There's a very important part in here, and then I want to talk about my uh, arrow and mnemonic system. Very important. Inside the study guide, okay? I've never seen anything like this. Um, and it's very, very critical. I want to tell you about it real quick. So here it is. A lot of paramedics where they mess up is they overthink the oral boards and they overthink the, in, the integrated scenario. Okay. That's where they mess up. Those are easy fixes because you need to do BLS before ALS. And I talk about that in the guide and other tips. But I want to give you one more thing real quick. Where I find people actually mess up and this has to do with the written and the practicals combining is the cardiology stations because it's very cut and dry. If you don't know your cardiology and your meds, you're going to easily fail the dynamic and static. So if you're somebody struggling right now with cardiology, you should get this guide just for the cardiology secrets I put inside of here. So here's what I put in this guide. I put in all of my, for my own notes, my all of my 12 lead EKG tips, every single 12 lead EKG you could see. I've also put in this guide a preface to dynamic and static cardiology. I give a talk on cardiology. Basically, like for example, uh, you got to understand stable versus unstable. It's a little preface to the paramedic dynamic and static cardiology. It's an entire page where I go through these very, very important tips you need to know about cardiology to be a great medic. That alone is worth the, the whole entire price of the guide. And as you know, everyone, I just want to say something to you from the heart here. I really do. Okay. I remember being a student, you know, um, when I was 19 years old, I was, I was an, e I was a 19 year old in EMT school. I was working as a server and I was doing deliveries at a pharmacy. Okay. You know, I, I, I didn't have a lot of resources. I didn't have a lot of money. I was, you know, uh, tr you know, just trying to get through school. I was 19 years old. So what my goal, what I try and do with all my products, the video study course, you know, for example, video study course, you get 180 plus videos of content plus access to me for $49.97. And you get lifetime access. This study guide, for example, is a 50 plus page guide. This national, it's called Conquering the National Registry Practicals by the paramedic coach, it sells for $17. The study guide sells for $17. It is 50 plus pages and gives you every single tip and advice I would give you if I was your instructor in class on every single station for $17. If you want it right now, I'm gonna put the link down here right now in the comments for the everybody here. It is in the description. I know the lights are in my face right now, sorry guys. If people are asking, I want to put the link down here just in case. And then I have a few more things that I want to share with you about the practical, so stay tuned. And I also have some other updates as well. Sorry for the lighting. Okay, give me two secs. I'm just going to throw us in here. That should be good. Okay, there we go. All right. So we're back. Light's good. Okay. So welcome all 85 people on the live. We're about 14 minutes in. Welcome, everybody. Uh, if you're just tuning in, I released my brand new study guide. After helping thousands of students pass their national ranch you ran with a video study course, I've decided to come out with my brand new study guide, Conquering the National Registry Practicals. It's a 50 plus page study guide that takes you to every single station and includes bonus cardiology tips. It sells for $17. You can get access right now with the uh, link in the description above, below, depending on where you watch. Also a link there as well. If you are in school right now or studying for practicals, this is not a want. This is a need. If you want to make your practicals 10x easier, 
I would go ahead and get that right now, okay? Again, um, if you're wondering what I've been working on this entire month, this is it. Uh, if you're just tuning in, I talked about earlier how I actually wanted to release this back in July. And I actually waited. Um, I said to gone through massive editing. And I, I wanted to make sure this was right. You know, I can only put out one major guide in the practicals. You know, it's pass the station and go forward. Um, so when I did release this, I want it to be right. And I thought this would be the perfect time to do it. Um, right here now. So congrats to everyone. I see, uh, I can see on my screen here, a lot of people that are coming in. Congrats to you for getting access. Congratulations on that. Now, here's what I want to talk about uh, in the guide as well that you'll find. I actually show you a preview of the table of contents and I show you what I'm talking about. If you watch the video, you can guys see what it looks like. Uh, I would say if you've got any of my other guides, excuse me, it has, um, a very, it has a very similar flow. If you've got any other of my paid guides, but a major difference this is what I want to talk about right now. So hear me out. So there is a portion of the guide. I call it my, and this is very important if you just got it, because I want you to know about this. I want to give you a little extra value here, okay? You're going to see inside the guide, there's something I call my arrow system. Okay, you're probably, what, what's an arrow system? So... I know a lot of people out there that are probably watching this right now need, like I do, this is how I learn, okay? This is why I use mnemonics and stuff like that, okay? It's basically a visual cue. Every single station has a visual, I show you what it looks like on the video, an arrow system. So basically, it's like a little image or a little reminder of the steps inside of each station. I wish I could pull it up here. Um, someone smarter than me with technology could probably pull it up. But if you click the link, I show you an example of the aero system. And here's why I did it. A lot of the sheets with National Registry are very, very long. They're very lengthy. So what I found is students will get tripped up going through the sheets. Or they'll miss things. And they're like, ah. Oh. Like, for example, maybe you're doing the IV station. And because... BSI is not in the beginning of the station. It's actually like kind of in the middle after you share the tape for the IV station. You forget BSI and you fail. So what I give to you is a visual guide, visual aid to go with each chapter. So you read the chapter, step one. Step two, you have that visual memory of the arrows inside the chapter and go, oh, yeah. Right. So for, I'll give you an example here of one as I use for my students. OK, so if we're going to open. This is actually one of the stations. So I'll give you an example. So let's say we're going to open someone's airway. Right. This, this goes for every provider, BOS or ALS. If I'm going to open someone's airway and they're unresponsive on the ground next to me right here. What do I have to do first? Think about it. Put it in the comments if you want. Well, I can open I, what, I just said it. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> you got to open the airway, folks. You got to open the airway, right? So the first step is open. Okay, now what's the next step? If I could say one word, what's the next step? Clear. If I open the airway, well, I have to look and see, is the airway clear? If it's not clear, I got to fix that. So is it clear or not clear, right? Well, then, so we open, we clear. What would we do next? Keep. Keep it open. So what, how do we keep it open? How do we keep the airway patent? OPA or MPA? Right? There it is. What's next? So we've opened. We've cleared. We've kept it open. But now we need to ventilate the patient. Vent. So that's a little mnemonic for you. It's inside, you'll see inside the guy, but that's one of them where I talk about it's in the BVM station, which talks about the airway, okay? So if you remember going to the station, okay, I gotta open, I gotta clear, I gotta keep, I gotta ventilate, ventilate with oxygen. There it is, folks. See? So when you go to the station, you're not shocked. You're not, um, you're not totally, um, 
for lack of a better word, I, I guess uh, taken aback because you forgot something because you understand the why behind what you're doing, not just memorizing the sheet. Right. So I know if you're taking a excuse me, let me clear my throat. <clears throat> I know if you're taking an accelerated course that, you know, instructors out there, they have to get you to pass national residue. They're hammering on that. And maybe you find the time crunch is so stressful to you that you are trying to go at that memorization route. I don't recommend it. This study guide, reading it once, reading it over again twice, going through it, right? Pairing it up with the sheets. So what I want you to do is this. Let's say over here, you have your sheet, and then over here, you have the guide. When your instructor gives you the national registry sheets, which by the way, if you're a brand new student, you can go to NREMT. It, there's a link inside the guide too, but you can go to NREMT.org. Um, if you go to NREMT, you can print the sheets out right now. So if you're about to start school, you want to get a head start, grab the study guide, go to NREMT. They have, their, they have the sheets on their website, of course. So those are their sheets. So go print those sheets out on NREMT, okay? And then you're going to match the study guide with the sheets. And then you have instant notes. You show up in class. Here we go. I'm ready. <laughs> That's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it. Okay? Just like I tell you with the written and with school, if you prep before you go in, they're going to make it. So I can't, I really just can't tell you. I mean, I, I know I'm being so real here, but I have to be. I mean, I've always been real with you since day one. Bef you know, since day one, before I had the sign, before I had the, the life pack, before I had the all this stuff here, before we had tacky, all the stuff that we've done over the last almost a year, almost a year now of going full throttle um, here with the paramedic coach. And... Um, We've done a lot, but since that wall back there was literally a different color, we had none of this fancy stuff back here. And I was just a paramedic going live on Facebook, um, you know, back in March and April. I've always been real with you. And I can't tell you how excited I am tonight to finally release this because I know I've gotten message after message, email after email. I've seen comments and groups and so much stuff about the practicals and people struggling. And my goal for tonight was to change EMS education for the better and decrease failure rates in the practical. We've done it with the written. It's my time to do it with the practical now. And I cannot wait to see your results. Everybody, much love. I have some, I have more. I have more big announcements coming up. Um, I'm going to be doing, I'll tell you a little, a little, a little secret real quick. I got some big collaborations coming up with other brands, other uh, YouTubers. Um, a lot of cool stuff here we're going to be talking about. Um, other Facebook Lives we're going to be doing. A lot of cool stuff. Um, you're going to meet some of my friends. You're going to meet some of my friends here. Um, to be very cool. Um, and again, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all of you for all the kind words. Um, I can see on the screen here, everyone with the shout outs and the recommendations and the reviews and Thank you so much. That really means the world to me. I, I really appreciate that. Um, I see people coming into the, the uh, study guide as well. Thank you so much. Um, and it, it's my pleasure to help you. It's my pleasure to help you. Um, I saw one person ask a, a, an interesting question. I just want to answer it real quick before I take off. Is this, uh, someone asked about alpha waves. Um, where to find alpha waves? Um, what do we just go to YouTube and type in alpha waves? And they're right there, right there in front of you. Someone asked about that, about alpha waves. So my friends, without further ado, grab your change in the game of EMS education. Grab your study guide tonight. Congrats to all of you. And I will see you soon. This is just the beginning, the tip of the iceberg of what we have going on. I'll see you for our next daily post tomorrow. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube videos coming out. I'll have a YouTube video on this coming out tomorrow. Some collabs coming up. Whew. It's going to be epic. <laughs> it's going to be epic. So much love to all of you. Peace out. Grab your guide. It's my honor to serve you.